Hey guys and guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to extend your game a little bit. Um, we're going to put some exhaust smoke onto the uh, tank and the enemies. Uh, we're going to create a fake wall, uh, add a moving wall, uh, and add a second enemy type to our game. So the first thing we are going to do is um, add some exhaust smoke to our uh, tank. And to do that, we're going to go into um, OBJ player, into the up arrow key. When pressed, we want to draw uh, and do a create effect. And that create effect is going to be self. Um, it's not going to be an explosion. I quite like flare. Flare works really well. Um, it's going to be below object. It's going to be small. And you want to pick um, a reasonably darkish sort of color. Um, maybe a dark grey or even uh, a black, depending on what sort of fur you want. I'm going to go with dark colour, click OK, uh, make it relative and click OK again. And we can close that, save changes. Okay, what I'm going to show you how to do now is add a fake wall to our level. So we're going to go into objects and we're going to find our OBJ obstacle and we're going to right click and duplicate and we are going to uh, name it obj uh, fake obstacle so obj underscore fake underscore obstacle click OK. What we're going to do is we're going to open our room, open level one, and we are going to get rid of some of our objects. Okay, so we're going to get rid of uh, some of this wall here. Click on and delete, or you can right click delete. And what we're going to do is we're going to click objects, make sure our OBJ fake obstacle is there. And we are going to put in our fake obstacle and we'll save that. Now our fake obstacle, if we go back into OBJ obstacle, at the moment has the same settings as our OBJ obstacle. So to get it to uh, be a fake wall, we can put our depth of minus two in click OK and that will give us our fake wall and we can test that now. And you can see you can pass straight through that wall. So let's close that. Okay so we're going to add some more enemies to the game and the easiest way to do this is to start by creating a new sprite. I'm going to give it a name of SPR underscore enemy underscore two. And I'm no good at drawing, so we're just going to load a sprite. Dot monster ready. I'm going to send it. Okay. So there's our new sprite. What we can do which is makes our life a lot simpler is rather than recoding the entire enemy again we can go to our obj enemy here we can duplicate it okay and what we can do is we can change the sprite spr enemy 2 and we can make it um, in the parent drop down list uh, left hand side here uh, we can select OBJ enemy. Enemy. Okay, and we can change the speed property. Maybe six. Make that five, for instance. Click OK. Click on that. Open the level.
Amen. OPJ underscore and many underscore two. Okay. Give that a test. Be faster moving. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a start screen, uh, a game over screen, and add lives and scoring to the game.